I pulled this from a Geth jamming tower. Maybe you can use it. How the hell did you quarians now end it? Tech like this? I don't care where it came. This is a nice spot, Ash. Yeah. All the shuttle zipping around remind me of when my dad would get ready to ship out. My mom would bundle us all up, buy us ice cream, and cart us out to the shipyard to watch his transport depart. I still have to resist waving every time a big Alliance ship flies by. You should bring Sarah up here. I will, when she's ready. She'll like the quiet. She wasn't the loud tomboy crashing around like I was. Sounds like you were a handful. Maybe. My dad got me. Shame you never met him. He would have liked you. You think so? Career military man? Yeah. Yeah, he would have invited you over, cooked you something on the grill, and talked your ear off. That sounds great, Ash. But right now, I can't focus on anything but you. Well now, those big, powerful Citadel arms giving you ideas, Commander? Maybe. Then maybe I have something to ask you. What? Well, we had something before. A long time ago. Something important. You've seen me at my worst. Totally embarrassing. You were there for me when my baby sister was suffering. I've... held a gun in you, Shepard. I'm just saying... We've been through a lot. I have to know. Are we... going somewhere? I want more, Ash. I can't see myself with anyone else. That's good. I'd hate to have to punch out whichever table-dancing tart is throwing herself at you this time. Such a romantic. You love it. Now get Remind me. Yes, sir. Putting aside centuries of hostility, the Geth and Quarians have both agreed to help fight Reaper forces. You sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. No one else thought it was funny, but she did buy me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. Friends doesn't cut it for me anymore, Liara. Well, that sounds serious. I am serious. Whatever happens, I'd like to spend my life with you. Then you're extremely lucky that I feel that way too. I know. Reaper forces have claimed the Argus Row Cluster after heavy fighting. Reports also have them entering the Perseus Vale near Geth space. Of course. We can have ships at the colony in 36 hours. Do you need medical support? No. Evacuating the colony is more than enough. Thank you, Ambassador. Ambassador? I'm coordinating actions for the fleet while we're here. Evacuating colonies, bolstering Turian defense lines. Huh. I think it was right here. Three years ago to the day. What? 
This was where Seren's assassins fired at me. I'd just gotten to the Citadel. I didn't think I needed my barriers up. My mistake. You never told me about this. How bad was it? Got me in the arm. They used polonium rounds. I was running a fever in minutes. It was the first time I'd been really hurt on my pilgrimage. I ran to the Council Embassy, asked for protection, offered the data on Seren. The Turian clerk called me Soot Rat. He threatened to have me tossed off the station if I didn't leave. I wish that clerk could see you now. He just did. That was him back there. I don't think he remembers me. And you're assisting him in spite of that? This war is too big for old grudges. You showed me that. We're at peace with the Geth. I can't waste my time on a Turian who made me angry. Besides, it all worked out. I made it to the wards. You found me. Happy ending. And now the Turians will get the aid they desperately need. I nearly reminded him who I was. Made him apologize, rubbed his nose in it. Maybe he and I both needed to grow up a little. The difference is that you helped when it counted. The difference was you. Everything looks so peaceful. Refugee camps in the Citadel are straining existing resources, and the Council reports that food shortages may happen in the near future. More trouble in the Perseus arm as... forces now control the I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? <sighs> when I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. But the elusive man stopped me. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? I told you, it's crazy. It's not crazy. Well, maybe a little crazy. Shepard. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how. But you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. Miranda, we're both under so much pressure to be perfect. We never give ourselves a break. We can't give ourselves a break. There's too much at stake. Hey. Yes? Come here. Still impatient, Commander? Still trying to maintain control, Miss Lawson? Trying. But failing. Good. I'm almost out of moves. I'm not. As the 
Sorry and Alliance militaries face major setbacks. The Turians and Krogan are still fighting fiercely to keep Alvin. Status recognized. Please One move. moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay E24, emergency civilian housing. With the Elcor homeworld taken by Reaper forces, refugees from the Kuna are fleeing to the Citadel. Grissom Academy also fell to the Reapers when Elysium was attacked, but Alliance forces were... Shepard, are you checking up on me? I love it. And speaking of love, I hope you've found someone. What? Times like these are when you need a love to fight for. Someone to confide in. You know, a partner. And what if I said that was you, Kelly? <sighs> oh, Shepard, I feel the same. But you know I need to be here, and that you need to be out there. Come on, Kelly. Well, I guess the problems of the day can wait a little while. <sighs> I missed you. I missed you too. Here, I have something for you. It's a picture of me. Back from when we first met. Take it. Now go save the galaxy for me. Okay. Reaper forces have claimed the Argus Road Cluster after heavy fighting. Reports also have them entering the Perseus Vale near Geth Space. Reaper forces have been sighted in the Parnitha system within striking distance of Thessia. Spectre status recognized. Please one select. moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay D24. We are preparing Have you discovered a way to run FTL spaceships without an ESO core, Private Talavi? No, ma'am. Then consider this a serious assignment. Intel's expected. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. I hear you were on the ground with the Reaper. He fired up at us a few times. Joker pulled the Normandy through some insane maneuvers to stay out of the line of fire. Flatter me all you like. I'm still not feeding your fish. I was terrified at first, strapped into a safety harness. I can only imagine what it was like having that thing chasing you. But then I was furious, just uh, enraged. I wanted that thing dead. You didn't want the Reapers dead when they attacked Earth? I wanted them defeated. I wanted Earth saved. But I never wanted to physically tear them in half and watch them blow up. Congratulations, trainer. I believe you've discovered your fight-or-flight instinct. Perhaps I should have stayed with Chess. Although now I think I'm spoiled by the lack of explosions. Trainer, can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to talk to me. She's on her way, Commander. I'm sure you've got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's see how you do with the top 10. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth, they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies, and no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? What you have to realize is that despite their reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. 
And the Quarians attacked them. The Geth fought back in self-defense, just like any organic would. Now that we've freed the Geth from Reaper control, they'll want payback for their enslavement. But you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? The Geth are extremely intelligent, and they put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not going to turn again. I bet my life on it. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed... So did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You gonna go file your story now? It's easy enough to do later. I've got a good lead, and I know how to finish. I just need the right body. If that's what you want, let's lock that door. Well, we can't talk about this. The crew can't know. I am my credibility and reputation. If word gets out that I got too close to a source, then I'm done. I'll make sure this stays just between us. Well, I can't refuse an exclusive. Neither can I.
Thank <laughs> you. 